When you're working on an architectural project with models from SketchUp, Revit, Rhino, 3DS Max, Grasshopper, and more, assembling everything into one clean, high-quality scene can feel overwhelming. In this video, we'll show you how Envision makes it easy to bring all those pieces together. No matter the source, we can visually enhance them in real time and turn them into a beautifully animated presentation-ready sequence. First, we'll export the landscape file. As you can see, we've built the landscape in SketchUp and added some Enscape library flowers. We'll use the V-Ray exporter directly from the Enscape window. Let's link the file instead of embedding it, so we can easily switch to an updated version if we need to change something in the original design later. Next, we'll add the main building to our project. This time it will be from a Revit file that we designed the building in. We will use the native V-Ray scene export as an alternative to the Enscape V-Ray scene export. We could even use the independent exporter if we don't have those options available. For some reason, there's a mistake in the roof design. So let's fix the Revit file and re-export the scene back in Revit. I will select the last level elevation constraint and bring it down by one meter. Let's wait for Revit to update the building. And once done, I will export a V-Ray scene file, making sure I'm overwriting the original one back to Envision. As you can see, just by reloading it here, the problem is solved in a non-destructive way. Now let's import the complicated procedural Grasshopper geometry. We can export it straight from Grasshopper and link it to our Envision project. The pavilion is accurately and quickly represented by Envision. We also have a file with the surrounding building's detailed geometry data converted to V-Ray proxies in Rhino. This large context can be linked to our Envision project in seconds while maintaining premium visual performance. Now, we have the whole neighborhood around our building, showcasing it in its real environment. Finally, we'll add this complex elevation design made up of high polygon organic geometry. Envision handles this geometry without any issues. Now let's dive into our scene and start upgrading its visual quality. We can improve our existing scene materials, for example, by fixing their mapping coordinates and enhancing its realism. We have the most important settings of a material available to adjust, so we can fine-tune our concrete, or we can replace any material with a ready-made one from Cosmos. Why not open a door? We can manipulate any imported geometry independently. By creating a path, we can create an anima object and use this path to distribute the crowd simulation. First, we will create an anima object dummy, and then we will pick the path that we just created to be distributed on. Then choose the animated Cosmos people you need and drag them to the anima details panel. We will increase the spline thickness to cover more of the area, and now we have a lively square. In minutes, we can see the people walking the path and avoiding collisions. Paths can be used not only for anima, but also for scattering objects. For example, we'll create a hedge fence quickly using the Scattered tool. First, create a spline to be scattered on. Then click the Scatter Object button and pick the spline to be applied to. Then drag a suitable hedge model to the layer. I will turn off Detect Collision to get better coverage. Then I will adjust rotation and spacing, and we're ready. We can also create a grass lawn by scattering on a plane. Click the Scatter button again, and this time we will pick a surface object. Let's choose a nice field grass patch, and Scatter will fill the whole area. With it randomizing it properly, I will just quickly adjust the density and switch off collision detection to have better coverage. Also, Max Angle Up Vector can help with better distribution when we have an uneven surface. Now let's add some high-quality Cosmos models to our scene. These include cars and vehicles of different shapes and sizes and animated trees, including different seasonal age and species types. We'll put a few around our building and we can also use various details and assets to bring life to our scene from small elements to whole, fully detailed buildings, stalls, bus stops, and other architectural objects. In the final stage, we'll play with the most rewarding part of the project. First, we can adjust the sunlight interactively to our taste. Furthermore, we can play with the sky by adding some cirrus clouds. Now let's add some color corrections to the camera to enhance our atmosphere. These include full range gamma contrast and brightness adjustments to get rid of burnt or dark spots in your image, as well as special effects like bloom. Next, let's animate some viewpoints to create beautiful shots of our building. We can add the camera to the timeline, 
animate its position and keyframe it. Now we're ready to render. We'll switch to rendering sequence instead of a still image and increase our resolution render quality in samples to achieve a better final result for the shots. And there you have it. We've assembled a full architectural project from multiple sources, enhanced it with materials, animation, and lighting, and rendered it into a short film. With Envision, scene assembly doesn't have to be a bottleneck. It becomes a creative opportunity. Try it for your next project and see how effortlessly you can bring everything and everyone together.